Alright guys, welcome back to C-Dub Studios. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a historic deck that I made. Um, hopefully be uh, entertaining for you guys. Uh, first things first, let's just go over kind of the point of this deck. Um, and, and I'll talk about its uh, what our main focus is with the deck. Um, and then we'll dive into some gameplay. So, um... We have Faithless Looting um, to draw some cards and discard cards because basically what this deck is about is about getting high-valued creatures and um, sorceries and stuff into the graveyard and then playing them from the graveyard. Um, so we have Thrilling Discovery which also um, discards cards and then you can draw cards. Um, Seize a Spoil, which allows you to be able to discard a card and draw cards and create a treasure token. Um, Shadow Sky and Wrath of God for um, wiping out the uh, opponent's board. Um, <clears throat> Mizzet's Mastery, basically this allows you to cast any instant or sorcery from your graveyard. Uh, with an overlord, over, overload um, that you can also do, and then you can cast all of your sorcery and instants from your graveyard. Um, Pirate's Pillage, discard a card, draw two cards, create two treasure tokens, unexpected windfall, it does the same thing. Um, so in lieu of um, Pirate's Pillage, you could do more uh, unexpected windfalls. Uh, and if you don't have these, you could uh, swap in Seize of Spoils or Thrilling Discovery. Uh, in its place it's almost the same it uh, you just don't get treasure uh, tokens with it uh, on burial rights um, basically you return any creature from the graveyard to the battlefield and the best part about this is you can discard it and you can play it with its for its flashback cost so you can play it from your graveyard um, for even cheaper so you can get out any of our uh, creatures in this deck even quicker. So you can cast seven, uh, or eight, ten mana cards for, you know, f essentially for four. Um, so yeah, so then there we have a subline epiphany. This is great for being able to create a token that's a copy and bouncing um, something that the uh, opponent has back to their hand and then being able to also draw a card as well that's pretty amazing um, the <coughs> the gear hulk can come into the battlefield you can cast an instant card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost so we could cast something like a uh, unexpected windfall or a eerie ultimatum or you know pretty much anything uh, from the graveyard, which is amazing, and it's got flash, so we could cast it uh, from our hand even um, if we use Pirate's Pillage for the um, for the blue mana source uh, for the treasure token. So there's a possibility that we could even cast this from our hands, and we could do it on the opponent's turn. Um, Scholar is amazing in this deck. Um, basically, whenever you cast it. Um, you can cast an instant or sorcery or artifact card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. So from the graveyard <coughs> we could play another Umburial Rites. We could play Seize the Spoil, Thrilling Discovery, Faithless Looting, uh, Pirate's Pillage, Unexpected Windfall, or what we really are set out to do is cast Eerie Ultimatum and get back any number of permanents in our graveyard to the battlefield. So that means we could get back all of these various creatures, one of each, get and get a whole mess of extra lands, uh, and an Omniscience, which basically allows you to cast anything in your hand for free without paying its mana cost. So essentially you get this down, you pretty much lock the game up. You can pretty much win with this card. Um, other big creatures that are in here are um, the Whispering One. Uh, she's got Swamp Walk, and then at the beginning of your upkeep, you can return a creature card from the graveyard to the battlefield. And the beginning of the opponent's upkeep, that player has to sacrifice a creature, which is amazing. Um, <clears throat> the Elder Dragon. 
the lore hold um, basically it's got flying it's got vigilance so it doesn't tap it's got haste so when you cast it or you comes out of the graveyard you can immediately attack in and you can cast an instant or sorcery spell with a mana value less than or equal to um, the elder dragon's power without paying its mana cost so we could cast um, uh, Mizzet's Mastery or Faithless Looting or Thrilling Discovery or Seize the Spoil or Pirate's Pillage or Unexpected Windfall or um, even potentially Unburial Rites um, yeah and, and just get a ton of value there um, Eerie Ultimatum we already talked about and then the Core Augur basically this can come we could cast this hard cast this um, we could cast it for free if we have Omniscience down, but basically, at the beginning of your end step, you draw seven cards. Each opponent's maximum hand size is reduced by seven. So basically, if we get this card out and it doesn't die, um, we essentially have uh, unlimited mana draw, and the opponent essentially goes down to, to no cards. So amazing, amazing card to get out. And then we just have a... Um, various uh, red and white to, to basically play most of the deck. Um, we do have some black in here, so we do have um, some triumphs uh, for splashing some black and splashing some blue. Um, but that's not really our main focus. Our main focus is to try to get stuff out of the graveyard, from the graveyard, play stuff from the graveyard, and then just get it out on the battlefield. And then last but not least, we have some uh, some Ool Mugs in here. Um, to, uh, basically, this card's just amazing. It's 10 cost, but we could pull it from the graveyard for 4 if we get if we discard it. And then we play on Burial Rites, we could get it out on the battlefield on, let's say, turn 4. Um, and then basically, whenever you cast it, um, you exile 2 permanents. It's indestructible. And uh, whenever it attacks, defending player exiles the top 20 cards of their library. So we could mill them out. Um, it's a 10-10. It's indestructible. So the only way you're going to get rid of it is to exile it or put it back to my hand. Um, but yeah, and then other than that, it's just land. So we have some mountains, uh, some pathways, some foundries, some triomes, some fables. Uh, we're light on land on this deck just because of the low cost of most of the cards in this deck we're basically just trying to discard all of our expensive um, sorceries and instants and creatures to be able to play them from the graveyard uh, cheaply so that's kind of the uh, intro to the deck I say we jump into some historic ranked and let's just give it a whirl and see how we do here
Alright, so we're gonna Wrath here and hope he doesn't have a counter. Alright, good. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I don't know why you did that. It doesn't change anything. So now he's got to sacrifice it. Alright, so we're going to swing in. Alright, he's got a sacrifice. Alright, so I think we're going to get the um, Elder Dragon back. Oh yeah, this is game over. <laughs> so we bring Omniscience back, get all of our creatures um, out of the great out of the graveyard into play. He just scoops it up. This deck takes patience to get it to set it up, but once it's set up, man, it's uh, and it's rolling. This deck's a lot of fun. I think we're gonna mulligan even though we have some, they're all higher cost. I think we'll keep this. Alright, so turn two, Thrilling Discovery, get rid of Eerie and Unburial Rites. Alright, good. So we got the lands we need. We got a Faithless Looting to get rid of the Scholar. Um, and then we got an Unburial Rites. And we've got Eerie. So we really just need to get some uh, creatures into our hand and discard them. Alright, so we're going to do faceless looting first. 
drop scholar and eerie and we'll do thrilling discovery we'll drop this is kind of a hard choice here we're probably going to need wrath so we need to keep a land uh, probably the fable and we'll get rid of the mastery alright cool so we're going to wrath next turn hopefully get rid of most of um, his gas that's disgusting yeah Alright, so let's hope he can't rebuild. But it doesn't really matter, I forgot. Um, Bishop Wings makes 1-1, one, one, so he's got me. Cool. Alright, looks like mono red. Whoa. Alright, faithless looting. Alright, one more untapped land and <clears throat> we can unburial rights and get uh, get scholar or um, whispering one. Oh that sucks.
All right, <clears throat> so this forces him to uh, sacrifice a creature. game. Damn. Lionel Red. Just swinging for the fences. So we're looking pretty good here, as long as we can get another land off this faceless looting. Oh my, this is going to be perfect. So drop the Eerie and the Omniscience, uh, Mizzix's Mastery next turn, play Eerie, get the Omniscience out. And then we should be able to bring back both of, uh, both of our creatures. And that's game, yeah, he's not gonna stick around for that. <coughs> so that was perfect. a good start. Next turn, Faith us looting, hopefully get some other good stuff we can put in our graveyard. Do Eerie Ultimatum, get back um, pretty much all of our creatures. Just hope he doesn't have a good big play here.
Huh. Alright, so we're looking pretty good. seeing what else I could pull out of my graveyard. I don't think there's... So what we're gonna do here is... Um, we're gonna discard this and... and the Scholar. So now we get to discard a bunch of cards. He's got a sacrifice. And as long as he doesn't have anything um, huge, this should be a pretty good game. That's fine. You can exile one thing. I don't care, it's gonna come back. Okay, pretty much out of mana now, so I'm not even going to block that because, yeah, it's not really worth it. <clears throat> Turn that back to your hand. I got a creature I control that. I mean, this is pretty much game for him, because now I'm going to be able to return pretty much everything I own. Yeah, 
Yeah, and there you go. He knew what was up. <clears throat> so yeah, so we took uh, took care of the uh, artifact, crap ton of mana, game life, play Ugin deck. You just never saw Ugin. Alright, so no early discard, so we're gonna mulligan. Still didn't really get anything. Here we go. Alright, so I think we get rid of that and. Okay, well. It's gonna get rid of one of the triumphs and just try to hit land with faithless looting. But I'll take a free one. I mean. Oh, this tap lands, man. Necessary evil. Okay, and that might be game. Yeah. Cool. Turn four is getting destroyed.
Hmm. One times. Okay. <laughs> Wins a win, right? It's a pretty good hand. All right, so next turn we get him burial out. We do the core auger, I think. All right, so he's got one chance with this. Hopefully it's a miss. Oh, of course he hits a Ugin. Of course he does. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to discard the Eerie and the Wrath. And we're going to play Mizzets on the Eerie. And return everything.
Kill the Ugin. Alright, so anything else? I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's coming back from this. Got him. Even with the Ugin out. Got him. Alright, so hopefully we can get Ulamog out on turn 4. That would be... That would be awesome. Or even better yet, we could get a uh, ultimatum on turn 4. <laughs> Hope he doesn't have a way to bounce it back to our hand. Okay, that's fine. Still got Ulamog on the deck. Nothing. No answer. <laughs> Turn four, Ulamog. Don't get much better than that. Alright, so turn two, thrilling. Drop Eerie and Unburial Rights. Lots of land. I'm gonna cycle this.
Alright, so next turn we're gonna Wrath. Buy us some more time. Collected company. I almost think we go another round before we do that. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do seize the spoils here. Because I think we can we can we can hold off another turn. I think he might try it again. That's fine. Alright, so Erie's gonna be. We're gonna do. Well, let's let's see what we get with Faithless Looting. Alright, I think we drop. We go Erie here. We'll get back Ulamog and the Scholar. We'll do this. Um, basically, we get to make a copy. He doesn't have any way to block any flyers, and we can play it again essentially for free. Um, And then next turn we can master it again. Alright, so this should be pretty much game. I don't see him getting back into this game. Because we're going to do Mystic's Mastery, we can play Omniscience, we can get Omniscience and all of our creatures back.
Because it doesn't matter. So um, we're going to Wrath of God, and then the only thing that will be left will be our Ulamog. So there, so now he's got uh, two one ones. And we can just go ahead and get back. Yeah, I mean, like. <laughs> <coughs> so there it is. I mean, this deck, once it gets off, it's, it's really hard to stop. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, had some good matches. Um, hopefully it was fun to watch me play the deck. Like I said before, um, if you guys have any comments on um, you know, what you want me to play, uh, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. Uh, happy to do other types of gameplay. Um, you know, different formats, other games besides Magic. I mean, you guys let me know what you want to see and be happy to happy to see what I can do. Alright guys, till the next one. This is C Dub Studios signing off.